I never thought I'd be saying this, oh. but I would I really need your help. With what? What's the matter? What's the matter, Kay? Everything is the matter. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back. Because I need it now more than ever. I'm I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Hello guys and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. So in the last video we um, got Hancock as a follower. I sent him to Starlight Drive-In. I rested. I took my time here. Oh, geez. And... And apparently they think Bobby's dead. Although all I said was back down. It's going to be hard to go back to patrol in the Pridwen. God, everyone's gonna hate this. But I need to check out the warehouse. I don't know why I have a mission there. What's the hold up? I got a lot of boxes, okay? Just hold on to your ass. Just like all I'm good for is waiting around. Jesus. What the Hello? Oh crap, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. Is all of good neighbor gonna kill me now? I got the drop on us. I'm just gonna explore. Don't worry, I'm gonna load. Uh... Oh god. Okay, let's, let's load before we went into the, the area, I think. I just wanna check it out. I'm not actually gonna go ahead and do something crazy. Let's save here. Now let's actually lockpick it and go in. I just want to check if there's a gun or something in here because I don't know what the mission is all about. You find it yet? What are you, an idiot? Okay. Ow, who's shooting at me? You. Isn't he here, little buddy? I'm trying to see if there's anything in here. I want to trigger him. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Call of Duty now. It's a bunch of shooting. Uh, no thank you, please. You don't need legs, right? No, no one needs legs. Now, when it when it like meant raided, does it mean like stealthily, or can I just go in here and shoot everyone? Kind of situation. I don't, I don't know what it wants from me. Now my only question is, if I go out again, are they gonna kill me? Because technically they wouldn't know whether or not I did it, right? Oh, there's nothing of value in here at all. Now, you may be a little bit upset because I did say I don't want to revert any decisions. Uh, but this is one of those times where I'm like, I don't know if it's part of a mod. Or if it was something else. And it seems like it is not part of a mod, but actually part of the base game. I've just never seen anything like go in and raid a warehouse of a friendly settlement before. It seems like such a weird mission to get. Uh, so I'm gonna revert, okay, uh, and uh, this is gonna be like one of the only times I break my rules, when the, like, I, I, I said one of the only because there might be future ones where I don't know whether it's a mod or not. Uh, so, so yeah, let's just go ahead and load this. And there we go. Yeah, we're not gonna go into the warehouse. Uh, seems like it's part of the base game, so not gonna mess with that unless, wait, that's another warehouse? Wait. Are there multiple? Where are the two warehouses? Three, yeah. After today, it's going to be yeah, hard clear to out the good it. neighbor well, warehouses. Why would I do that? I mean, I should probably have checked before. Uh, to see what kind of stuff it was, but anyway, let's go up north. Uh, I, I should probably have gone outside when I checked those warehouses to see if they did turn hostile. But oh well, it's it's whatever.
Okay, so the cabot house is over here. I think there was a robot there, and I'm pretty sure it got destroyed by something. By the way, that's not even mud related, that's vanilla game, which is kind of crazy. This got killed by something. What, what was that? Oh, like a death claw? Uh, oh yeah, it seems like those other robots killed this robot. Okay, anyway. What the hell is a building that noise doing in a rundown city like this? Uh, no clue. Go away. But I was recruited for this mission. Gone. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. How did you? How did you not? How did you already get me? Well, I did. It did take a little while. Like, I guess you got that one, but. It's really meant to take a while. Be I think everywhere is just surrounded by these freaking super mutants. Ooh. All right, let's go in. Come on, let's go meet the boss. Please, no, kill me. All right, I'm gonna meet your boss. I didn't even mean to do that, but I'm happy I did. I'm the mercenary you wanted to hire, right? Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. New guy. What the He'll heck? He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. You seem like a weird fellow. Damn, you have a sharp chin, dude. Uh, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please. Have a seat where you want to sit. some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. Uh, where you want to sit. Before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't interrupt, for... Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I guess, yes. Microscopic beings. I don't believe there is anything remotely like humans. But yes, bacteria and such, I'm guessing. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, oh and the fallen universe that were aliens. Too narrow so. to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet, the very origins of human civilization, ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Uh, yeah, aliens created civilization, question mark? You think aliens created human civilization? This is plain daft, is what it is. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures, Sumer. Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing, even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. Uh, what was that, what about? Was that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an facility. important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Uh, what's this package? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. 
You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't well, I was, I've been there. That was the weird building I saw that I was, like, kind of pushed the off of. We got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have more questions, though. I have some questions. Shoot. Uh, why guard asylum? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. You all set then? Uh, what happened to the package? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Are we good here? Yeah, we're Nothing good. Else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons. So you'd better get going. Oh, hello, Jack Cabot. Nice to see you here again. Hi. Hmm? What? Uh, ancient aliens? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. Is there proof? You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. <laughs> he only made a single expedition to the lost city. Brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations. But with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries. Tools not made for human hands. Carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. It was your father's theory. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. And this law city is what you say is kind of Atlantis for all this and every other culture, technically. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. Okay. I wanted to ask you about something. All right. All cool. Right. Very nice, very cool. Uh, old Asylum, why there, by the way? What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. Help me do my job, please. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Was there anything else? Oh, okay, so your father went crazy. What about the travel to Arabia? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Oh, I see. So he must be a ghoul then. Wow. Your father must be pretty old then. Well, yes. He is. Most people don't really grasp how long ago the war really was. One of the effects of my father's <coughs> illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. Are we done? Are you sure it's not just lying and then he's a ghoul? Okay. What about the Capitol House, then? Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Any more questions? No, we're done. It's all good. I've got to get going. All right. 
Thank you. It's so nice of you to talk like that. I like you. Yeah, you give me a good vibe. Also, the kind of weird vibe that you should kind of be afraid of, but. Someday, I want to be the best laser rifle shooter in the Brotherhood. Requires key. Are you the only one here, or do you have a sister or brother or something? Oh well, let's go and do our little job then. I don't know what they're working on in here. Actually, wait. Before we do, let's explore this area in here. Is that him? Soon I'll graduate to night and get to take on missions like this on my own. What the heck is that? You have a pretty extensive house here, I must say. Uh, yeah, pretty extensive house. My goodness. Oh, that's Edward. So he's sleeping. It's not every day they let us squires out into the field. What about this door? It just goes in here. Okay, fine then. Uh, so this must lead to another. I don't know about. Okay, let's go out and uh, explore, shall we? See what they want. Wait, they locked the door behind me, which is why I need to exit with a key? These people are scary. Speaking of scary people, I need to head to the railroad and uh, also need to get over to the other area as well. Uh, okay. Just equip that to get ready. And then we go to the railroad. Which is the opposite direction. Yes, totally knew that. Was totally prepared for that. Totally, yes. Uh, please, no ghouls. I don't want any trouble. Just leave me alone. Okay, railroad. I'm almost there. Happy I can finally see my compass again. It's just that one gun that just doesn't like it. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Old North Church. Let's enter. What a mysteries do you hide? What do you expect to find in this so-called church? Well, I already know technically, but, but no one else would know. Except the railroad people. After this, I can't wait till we start live weapons training. And yeah, you do that. You do that, kiddo. Far away from me, though. Like, very far away from me. All right, I have returned. What do you want now? Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. Pam wants to talk with me. Okay. Um. The latest atmospheric reading from the new Mila is still inconclusive. But we'll catch the Institute. I know another building that could use a Mila. Or uh, sure. do some business. I mean, anything new from Mila? Anything new from Mila? Ooh, Pam's like a glowing one in a crater, soaking up all the data from Mila's cameras. The atmospheric sensors haven't picked up anything yet, but give it time. Okay, what, what do you, you have you I can get it? here? So we want to go to Cambridge now, but where in Cambridge? The other squires are going to be so jealous when I get back. Wait, Tinker Tom special? Oh, is this one? Okay, no, no, it's not that great. Nothing. Nothing good. Nothing great. Uh, Pam wants to speak with me, so let's go to Pam here. Calculating. Institute presence increases odds of detection of all northern routes by 52%. 52%. That's prohibitively dangerous. Charmer, how do you feel about getting thrown back into the fire? That bad, huh? Is it that bad? Potentially catastrophic. We've hit a snag with Dr. Amari. You haven't met her, 
She works in Good Neighbor, and she plays a vital role in our organization. Synths are supposed to go to the memory den. The doctor gives them a new set of memories, then they move out. But her latest patient is stuck there. The runner's route has been compromised, and we're looking for options. Uh, I already know about the memories. Uh, can't you find another route? Just find another route. Finding a route that's safe from the Institute and all the other dangers isn't easy. From a given location, we're lucky if we have a handful. And so far, none of our options out of good neighbor work. Pam, what if we reroute through Lexington? The switchboard is a nexus of Institute activity. Odds of detection increase exponentially with proximity to the nexus. In English, Pam. She means we can't run ops anywhere remotely near switchboard. The Gen 1s blocking the original route have to go. Okay, well, what's the problem then? Why is killing them our plan B? Excellent question. Assaulting an entrenched institute position is always risky. I don't want to put one of our top agents in harm's way unless it's necessary. Go to Dr. Amari and tell her rerouting isn't possible. You're there to clear the route for one last run. There's a lot at stake here, so get the job done. Understood. Talk to Dr. Amari, I got it. Are you injured? It's all. Okay, so we're in a bit of uh, in a bit of trouble. So you're telling me what exactly that, and you go back to good neighbor. Okay, that's nice, that's great. Uh, where else? So you need me to go just to set up the other thingy. I never thought I'd be saying this, oh. but I, but I really need your help. With what? What's the matter? What's the matter, Kate? Everything is the matter. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back, because I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Take a deep breath, okay? Just... just take it easy. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood, and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Okay, curing addiction, eh? Can your psycho addiction be cured? Normally a wasteland doc could handle it, but I've been using the stuff so damn long they can't help me anymore. There's only one other way I know, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere a else. A vault? Here. A place called Vault 95. Have I been I there? I don't remember. Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. I don't know where Vault 95 is, though. You know where we can find Vault 95? Not really, no. Oh, All great. I know is it's supposed to be somewhere in the southwestern part of the Commonwealth. Southwestern? Look, I don't want Near the glowing sea? Some kind of low life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another. All I'm asking is for your help. You ask me to risk my life, yes. Take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Okay, sure, I don't mind. I can't believe I was lucky enough to get this assignment. Can you keep quiet? This is a serious matter, kiddo. Okay, so you want me to head where exactly? Uh, you want me to head... Where is this? Oh, yeah, that is right next to the glowing sea. Oh, boy, that is... All right. I mean, we can go there. I Just be careful. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's keep going.
Okay, we're back out again. Let's go, let's go. What radar, radar? Oh, where radar? Okay, just getting ready for another firefight. If it happens, it happens. So that is where the next meal target is. We gotta go back to good neighbor. The railroad needs our assistance once more. And I intend to give my assistance to the railroad. Wait, what do you have in there? You have... Okay, just bag of fertilizer. <laughs> no, thank you. I am a good, thank you very much. Okay, so I am going the wrong way already. Supposed to go ahead this way. And I already found like a blind. Okay, that's great. Wrong way. There we go. Now I'm going the right way. I think. Gotta go this way and gotta be extra careful as well. Did you hear that? No, no one heard that. It's fine. No one heard it. Don't wanna mess with you right now. I have my own things to deal with. Now I just need to head left and I should be there. Oh, one thing I forgot to do was take out the fusion call. So if someone went into this, I could just take it. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay, let's go in here. We must speak to Dr. Amari. We must speak to Dr. Amari, yes, yes, all right. Dr. Amari, I must speak with you. It is very urgent, very necessary, very much now. By the way, can, can you upgrade the suit further? I don't actually know. Can you upgrade it further? Hey. Sorry, Shroud. I don't have any upgrades ready. Oh, man. Wait, you can upgrade that? That means there's proof that you can upgrade more. I was wondering if that was the case. Amari. You're the contact H222 is talking about? Just when I thought one person could only experience so much danger in their life. The patient is resting right now. Were you hoping to say goodbye? I don't advise it. He is far past remembering anything about his old life. Uh, I already know they lose their memories. Miss my goodbye. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. He talked quite a bit about you before I administered the anesthetic. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity. Now, what's your plan for moving him? Uh, use the original route. We have to use the original route. There's no other way. That's the plan? A route. I thought you people valued discretion. <sighs> but fine. I won't argue. The Malden Metro Center is where you need to go. All the Gen 1s there need to be gone, understand? All of them. Understand. I H222 and his future in your hands. Once he's gone, we never had this conversation. He was never here. Before you leave, take the holotape on the table. It's a personal message. I wish they'd let me have a gun. Only. Proctor Teagan just laughed at me. I don't remember H222. Is that all? Oh, it's you. Uh, I don't. Which table? Where? I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it this one? After today, it's going to be hard to go back to patrolling the Pridwin. Lady, I don't think there's a hollow tape on the table anywhere. I don't I don't see anything. Did Someday, I already take it to the past? I want to be the best laser rifle shooter in the Brotherhood. Um maybe I already took it by accident. Maybe just age two twenty two. I d I don't I have no clue. I don't see why everyone isn't out to eradicate these abominations. 
or something. Can't be, like... Why is it not anywhere to be seen? Come on. Oh well, I guess I can't listen to it now. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe it's here, but I just don't know where to see it. Anyway, hello hey, there. Who are you? Hey, stay back. The other squires are going to be so jealous when uh, I. I don't. I don't know. Don't I can't more. find it. Be careful of the radiation. The glowing sea isn't a place to be caught unprepared. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm not going to the glowing sea. You Lance see. Captain Kells said it's going to take a lot of hard work and discipline if I want to be as good as you. Yeah, I have no flipping clue where this. I'm just gonna leave it be. Uh, it was probably just as good by Mrs. And thank you for everything you've done. I barely knew the guy, so. Okay, cool, cool. Let's see. So, uh, what is the mission? Bring Kate to Vault 95. Eliminate the Gen ones. That is all the way. No, that's guard captain. Up here. Yeah, molten center. Okay, eliminate Gen ones. But they're not already kill all. Aren't they the ones that were like inside the metro tunnel? I already killed them all. Okay, all right. It's good enough, I guess. All right, we have to exit good neighbor and uh, proceed onward with our mission. Very important mission. Okay, let's see. So first I want to set up the Mila. That is my first wish. Whoopsie. <sighs> to go over here and do it. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Not one of these guys. Not one of these guys. Ignore that. Ignore that. And just go this way. Then go up here. Have my own things need to calve. Here we go. Who are you? Are you guys bad again? Are you raiders? Whoa, whoa. You hear that? Nice try. Hey day. Yeah, no thank you. I don't mess with you, raiders. Well, I try not to. Although I do explore a lot and kind of ends up doing the opposite, but still, I, I try my best to help people and not get in your way. Are you guys never going to join me, by the way? Do you have any new missions for me or something? Anything? Everyone here just kind of seems lame. Ever want to talk with me or anything? Hey, Kessler, where the heck are you? Hello. Uh, <clears throat> Finally, my dad can stop belly aching about great grandpappy. Thanks. Need a room? Uh, no, no, I do not. What I need, though, is for you guys to help me out. Let me let me own you, pretty much. That's what I need. Hey there. I fixed up most of what's here myself, so it's all guaranteed. Uh huh. Yeah, nothing here. What hey, about you, pal? Meg? I might be a doctor one day. Or okay, maybe sure. Okay, uh, hello. Hey again. Working on a slogan for this surgery. I'm thinking the doctor is in, pain is out. Uh, that might be false advertising. Let's just talk shop. Hey, anything? What's new, Doc? Nothing that would interest you. Now let's talk about you and your health. No, not interested. Hey. Cares for anything you need? With all the fancy columns. Always someone doing trading there. They never let me join them. 
never want to join me anyway. I just want to be useful. Now, is this where I need to go? No, it is actually not where I want to go. Oh, I need to go up there. I see. I've been up there before. This is nothing new to me. I already killed all the super mutants that were here. And they were a pain in the butt to kill, by the way. Remember dying a couple of times. Uh, so I need to find the way that goes up from here on out. Which was this way. Where, where is this Mila thing at? Is it all the way up top or is it like partly up top? Here it is. Okay, got it. I really wish I could jump down there without dying, but it's not possible. Alright, well, here is also a good spot to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.